This is the second part of the four part video series for electricians with their own business. This video expands on the overall concept behind electricians business machine. This concept was explained in the introduction which hopefully you saw before watching the first now this part of the video. So the second key element in the electrical business is this. Money. Again, money can be a real demon, but of course we can all appreciate how it can be our best friend too. Those who struggle with anything money related might curse it, but that cursing doesn't do anything to help the situation. Money is simply a fair exchange of the perceived value that the customer has given you in exchange for your services. So if your value is obvious to people, then it'll be easy for people to say yes to you. However, if your value is not clear or is not perceived to be worth the value that you quoted, then people are more likely to say no. For the longest time, my prices used to be far too low and I would get all the worst type of customers and I would be that busy fool. Putting my prices up was the best thing I ever did, not just financially, but I got a whole better class of customers at the same time. And I didn't have to work as many hours. So right there is the first point I want to get across. So have a think about your value and if your message is loud and clear, not just for your services, but for you and your company and what you stand for. Value does not mean cheap. It means you are clearly worth what you charge and that it would be a no-brainer for your ideal customer to say yes to you. But here are some other considerations too. Is your hourly rate right? Does it reflect your value? Does it cover all of your overheads? Does it factor in all the parts, fuel and consumables? Does it allow for travel time and time off such as holidays? If you aren't sure of the answer to this, then you definitely need to listen to this. Are any of your services not worth your while when you look at the profit you make and the time it takes to carry it out? Why is this not worth it? Can it be fixed or should it be dropped in favour of a more worthwhile service? You do not have to offer every service that is asked of you. In fact, this will be detrimental not only to your profit, but for your reputation. There's a well-known principle called the Pareto Principle or 80-20 rule, which dates back to 1896. Initially, it was noted that 80% of the land was owned by about 20% of the people. And then over time, it was observed that this rule tended to more or less fit a lot of situations in life too. For example, 80% of the clothes in the wardrobe are worn 20% of the time. And in your electrical business, maybe 80% of your profit comes from just 20% of those services you offer. Or maybe 20% of your customers account for over 80% of your income. In practice, this means you should see who your most valuable customers are and find more like them. But you need a method of identifying this. Next up, are you being paid on time regardless of whether your customers are domestic, commercial or industrial? What excuses are you allowing people to give you? How can this be prevented? Even worse, are you allowing people to beat you on price and then resubmitting your quote lower? Or do you stand your ground and reaffirm to your customer your value without scaremongering or slagging off your competitors? Do you have a lot of waste expenses that you don't get a return from? Do you have a lot of banking, credit or factoring charges? These expenses not only eat into your profit, but it means that you then have to work longer hours. And we already discussed the time issues in part one. If you're trying to get out of a financial hole, there's a fantastic book I would recommend called Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. This is a detailed plan on how to U-turn even the worst of situations. Although, of course, you do still need to keep earning while you're sorting that out. And so the two sections we've covered so far are both opposing each other and great collaborators too. If we don't have enough time as electricians, then we can't get out and make more money. But if we manage our time, then we open up more earning potential. Similarly, if we free up time, but don't master the money side of the business, then the opportunity is wasted. But when you have an efficiently managed business, making a decent profit, then you're well on your way. But there's still more to be done. While the electrician's business machine dives even deeper into the money area with more problems and more solutions, there's still two parts left. 
to this four-part video series. The third element is arguably even more crucial than time and money. That third element will be discussed in the next video. Then the fourth element is more than just a fourth element, it actually takes these three and multiplies it to give you a massive result. So watch out in your inbox for the third video. Thank you for watching. I'm Simon Barker and I'll see you in the next video.